Next job is to get this cut back. Oh, this is grim. Look at the state of that. Mark and Lard, anyone remember them? When Radio 1 was good? And just when you think you've seen it all, or when you're doing lintels. You get surprised. The job bites you on the arse. Luckily, Alex made me price a day and a half for this job. Good Thursday morning, 10 to 8, on the 21st of March. Wow, week left of March. It's done by quick, isn't it? Very quick. And back at this job, the um, oh. we took the canopy out, and patched up after, and we smashed the door number, which is that one. That one. So today we're back to do this one. As you can see, no lintel in it. And it's dropped. So um, we're going to get this window covered up as best we can. I've got a couple of other cracks to do here. I'm thinking that that's maybe time. Why is that? But we're um, yeah, we're going to take out up to the <coughs> over sailors. Take the soldiers out. Put a new lintel in. Lift everything up. Put a new tube over the top of the window. That's the plan. So we're going to get the scaffold out. Obviously got Robbie's cracking scaffold and get this done. Mm. Well, if that time lapse worked, you will have just seen a time lapse. I don't know if I switched it on or not. So, there you go, all set up, nice little scaffold, and then if you notice the boards, it started to rain. Um, <clears throat> forecast overcast, never said anything about rain, so hopefully, it doesn't get any heavier than this. So, that's just going to go plugged in and get the charges set up, and then um, I can start making a mess. Oh no, we have to get the window covered up first, don't we? Mm -hmm. And then we can start making the mess. So yeah, we'll catch up there. Right, Alex just off to get some vents. peep vents, which we've run out of. Not the ones we want, but the only ones we can get. Luckily, till station's five minutes walk, so Alex's going to walk off and go and get them for me. I'm going to make a start here. We're all covered up. So the wind's... Is that... Wind... Is that... That uh, dust sheet pulled right down properly, mate? So it's hanging down proper. So it deflect, doesn't let anything drop on the window. It's, it's sat on the windowsill here. That's it. That's what we want. So while well, I like to adjust uh, the curtain, as you can see, crack, crack. And then drops back down there. Alex did a temporary repair there. We didn't think we'd come back this quick, but uh, anyway. So, that deer coming out. We're raising the lintel up to that course, and we're going to cut the soldiers off. So, we keep the soldiers. Just make them shorter to fit on the new lintel. Um, show, show them the lintel that's there. Hey? <laughs> eh? Show them the lintel that's uh, not there. <laughs> Can't really see now because they're just sheet. Yeah, they're, they're just sat there on nothing. So we're going to have to be careful taking them out, otherwise we don't want the whole thing collapsing. These are anthracite frames, can't afford to replace this frame. So um, we're going to do it in small pockets. Small pocket out, take the soldiers out. Small pocket, take the soldiers out. And then we're going to put two, two echoes in, one about here, one about here. Sorry, here. I'm going to try and save these two courses. Oh, thank you. Here's a pint of coffee. I've got no, um, got no strong boys to sit on. But any, uh, anyway.
glamour assistant has returned. They're, uh, they're quite fancy ones to use. You can either have them as a vent or as the weep. So <laughs> we're using it as the weep vent and even as the uh, the render thickness so you can compensate for how much render is going to be. So so the people who make them think you should have vents and render. Yeah. So we're putting them in that way. That way. And just when you think you've seen it all or when you're doing lintels. You get surprised. The job bites you on the arse. Luckily, Alex made me price a day and a half for this job, and I'm so glad I did. And the customer's a bit, uh, bit taken aback by how much it was, but look at this. I've, I've recycled this, this blade out, this brick out, as, as over the front door. That is solid concrete for the inside, and it looks like they built the brickwork over the wooden frame, and then they've cast the concrete lintel inside against the brickwork so basically I don't know that they, they, this, these are any ties put out into the concrete but this lint this this is like a, a like precast if you like because it's it's now connected to a big lump of concrete so what we there's no lintel underneath yeah no lintel so that's it's, it looks like it's dangling in midair but it's not it's, it's stuck to that concrete lump in there <sighs> so cavity trays intact so we can tuck them underneath that which is always good news but um I'm going to take out, leave these two in. The mortar's coming out really easy. It's like this black, black stuff being repointed, so that's easy for us. Um, so, this this soldier, of course, has got 24 brick in it, but this 65 mil and very tight. So, we're going to try and salvage as many as we can. And any that do break, we'll just replace them because we kept those, uh, those brick there on top of that were um, brand new bricks. So, they're a very good match. Plus we've got to cut them down anyway, so length is okay. So we're thinking of going for 73 mil, and then we only need 21 bricks in the in the soldier course then, which will still look okay, because the actual brick on the house is 73 mil. For some reason, there's 65s on this. Maybe this is a it's like modern day where this is like concrete's already cast and you put it in in one unit. You, you know, it might have gone in like that, not and you might not have cast the concrete after it. It might have gone in as a concrete lintel with the bricks attached. Who knows what we're talking 1950s here, so I don't know. Sky's the limit. Yeah, I've never seen this before, so it's another problem we just have to get over. It's always our problem, isn't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to smash this one out as an exploratory one, see what, see what we can do. I can't see them just popping off that concrete with any ease. And um, oh, yeah. When we do get all the bricks out, we've got to get a grinder and cut the lintel back at least 10, 15 mil to give us room to get our lintel in. Because like that, that's why those bricks are overhanging like that on that door. Because um, we couldn't start to smash in the end. Um, couldn't take 60 mil off to face the concrete lintel. That was a roughly cast lintel, that. Yeah, that was really bad, that one. So yeah, that's the plan. I'm going to smash this out and see what's happening. Do you want to hold that while I swap places? Hmm? Mum, am I coming here? Yeah. I don't know if you can use that. Can you use the tight the perks are. Yeah. So the 65s with tight perks. Oh, it's, it's solid as well, so... Do you want the rubber, rubber mallet? Well, might be an idea, yeah. I think we need to go with the blade as well when you get that. You need to go down with it.
I'm taking four courses out. Oh, shit. Shit. running in. Um, should we swap the planks around so you've still got some... Oh. Should we swap the planks around so you've still got some... something to stand? Yeah, okay. <laughs> well, yeah, you can see how much it's dropped compared to the others. <laughs> right, freaking panic stations, I'm that absorbed trying to get this brick out, Alex said, Dad, is that dropping? I'm so do it here. It's all cracked, the whole thing's dropped. So this this whole soldier course has popped off the concrete. So um basically after after I shit myself and <laughs> sort of um compose myself again we've got this in the base that's held we're always going to take it out to there anyway so now all this is loose it's going to come out easy but it's, it's not that it's th this is not sat on anything so we've got to try and get this out without the whole thing just collapsing so um oh, tell you what get that plank mate and we'll prop it with the plank that should just be long enough to prop we've got bricks in the van and we'll just get it underneath maybe in the middle so it doesn't all drop and then we'll get up here with four hands and take it out bit by bit um, we obviously need to get the other echo in here first about here yeah about there on that two there and then anything that goes in the middle then we can just repair yeah that's going to do it so um, let's get this next echo in compose yourself a bit and just stay calm if the bricks fall, the bricks fall. I'm not bothered about that. It's hitting that window that I'm bothered about. This is where a piece of plywood would have been ideal. In fact, I'm tempted to go back to the house and go to get the piece of ply. Decision made. I'm going to go and get a sheet of ply from Bursco. I'd rather pay £26 for a sheet of ply than um, £300 quid for a new window. So yeah, that's the plan. I'm just going to prop, uh, put, put a wedge in this just to tighten it down. And then I'm going to nip off quick. There goes Dad. We've um, we've propped up with a plank for now until he gets back. Because what he's going to do, I think he's getting some plywood, so that we can um, get that in there and just protect the protect the window. <sighs> so while Dad's gone, I'm I'm going to stay and monitor this thing and make sure nothing happens. We've got an acro open with that's like propped up with a plank, so it shouldn't shouldn't fall but you know knock on wood you know so yeah I'll um we'll let it we'll get back to you when he gets back and we'll um get this done side note dad mentioned about me saying price half a day because with past experience I have a little tip if you're doing lintel work if the lintel it goes above it goes above 1800 in length consider a day and a half just to get it all done get it cleaned get tidied, get everything done because one, you never know what you're going to find and two it's a lot to get done in one day once you go past 1800 with the brickwork so that's my little tip if you go above 1800 just price a day and a half to get it done so you've co you're covering yourself because we're definitely going to need a day and a half of this now but yeah, day and a half I'm back. I was going to say panic over then, but it's not over yet because we've still got that soldier ghost dangling in midair. This is this is this is grim. Um, we're going to have to take slacking off that dust sheet a bit. And um, I've been to pick our polycarb up off the porch job anyway while I was over there, so I thought I wonder if they got any scraps timber so I found a length of 3b2 which we're going to cut down, cut to the window size and wedge in into the two reveals so it's wedged up underneath them soldier bricks and sticking out slightly so when they do drop they're not dropping into mid-air and also I've got a sheet of 9mm ply to nail on the wall just in case they do drop 
and um, it'll deflect all the crap off the window and onto the floor because I'd rather lose a few bricks than a freaking expensive window so we're, we're just having a quick break and we're going to get back to it I'm just glad I got that timber so um, extra work but it's not worth risking it there's too much there's too much can happen up there <clears throat> I've just watched the health and safety video by Daniel Ashville and it sort of makes you makes you realize you can't be too careful so I'm gonna go get me coffee now and we get back up there sunny intervals and gentle breeze 10 degrees and sunny Get a grip. Yeah, whatever. I'm getting back in the van. Me away. Oh, this is grim. Look at the state of that. <sighs> it's not actually touching that plank at the moment, but we're going to get this 3 by 2 whacked in. You can leave that on, mate. It's no music. It's Mark and Lard. Mark and Lard, anyone remember them? When Radio 1 was good. I think me and Alex are trying to go and try and see them on stage in November, Warrington. Hopefully. That's going to be funny. Anyone who um, remembers Mark and Lard, stick it in the comments. I'm pretty sure that my age group on here is, um, there's a lot of you. And they were brilliant. So anyway, I'm, I'm going to measure up for this 3 by 2 and Alex going to pass it up and we're going to get it installed. Then we're going to prop it again with the plank. Then we're going to start knocking this stuff down. I'm not going to bother with the ply. So I spent 19 quid and shoot a plywood for nothing. Well, there's nothing the, off then. The next extension. Yeah, you know, we'll use it for the uh, next grab job. But um, basically, um, we've managed to get that in nice and tight. And it's sticking right out. So that's supporting the soldiers. And we've got this plank underneath, propping it up as well. So Solid. So these can't fall forward now. Which is what we were worried about, as you can see. As they've already done. But good job Alex spotted that. That could have been a big accident, that. I'm still worried about the summit falling on that, win that window though. I'll tell you what, bring the polycarb up, we'll just lean the polycarb up there while we're doing it. Probably alright, isn't it? Put, the, it uh, put it in that groove. Yeah, but I need to get an acro in there, don't forget. Yeah, we'll just put, it, put the acro around it like that. If we get the acro in first then, just hollow out for there. Yeah. Get the acro shoved in no more. Yeah, we've got the polycarb sheet that I've picked up, we can just lean it against there while we um, demolish gingerly. But yeah. It's took us, it's cost us a lot of extra time that, but there's no way I was just going to risk it, just wing it. And the, uh, and the lovely weather. Oh yeah, we've spent an hour in the van because of the, the rain. We it's meant to clear up. Dad checked the weather app and it said it was bright and sunny as it was uh, chucking it as down. it was raining, yeah. And it just got worse for an hour. So um, forgive me when I say this, but weather app, you're full of shit. Mm. Poor Justin in, Justin Brickwright in Wales. He has terrible trouble, he said the same to them as well. <laughs> he said exactly the same in his video. They get hammered in Wales. We're quite lucky compared to them lads. But yeah, we can start moving again now. Um, yeah, let's get cracking. We've got a little bit ready for the crap. And we still have to cut back this um, this lintel to get our um, to get our cut this concrete lintel back to get our lintel in. So um, yeah, sucks eh? Right, all that extra work there has made it possible to just whip these out as we go. As you can see, they're just, they're not sat on the window, but they're actually bonded to this concrete, which is going to cause us a problem. We're going to have to take 20mm off that at least. 
So our lintel can be set back, our lintel has to be set back here. So it's got to be pushed right back. So that's going to cause us a problem. The uh, the big grinder is too big for that. Yeah. I think we've got a little grinder with us, haven't we? We have. And we've got a metal blade on it, so that we'll put some cuts in it. A metal blade? Not a metal, a stone blade. Oh. So anyway, let's forget about that. This is the bit we're up to. As you can see, Okay. That's only being held in by your pointing. That's only like that. Yeah, Super tight bit perps. So we can do away with the brick and put bigger perps in there, make it easier to build. The perps look bigger the way they're pointed, but they're very, very tight. And just chucking them off into the stones. Oh, that's the same exact this end. So now we just need to take out this, this and this. I hope they stay in. <laughs> Take those perks. There you go, soldiers are out. And we managed it with a scrap piece of the BBC. That's such a relief, as you can see. The concrete is put cast against the soldier brick. So the cavity is completely bridged there. Imagine how cold that spot is. And how damp it, the possible, it could possibly get. Obviously it hasn't, but because of the you know, chunk, just Anyway, there's our trout just getting cut off and we're going to go underneath it. So we've got to scrub this, get it back there and get our lump back. I've got to take out brick half the brick so we can get our tray up and over. Yeah, I've got to cut through here. Yeah. So the cables are going to be removed. Don't want to go through those with the sawzo. So I'm going to go back down this end first, down the easy end. Get this end done first and then we'll go back to that. And then we'll yeah, we're concentrating this big ugly lintel that we've got to get shut off. You can see there's, a, there's the perps and there's the back of the brick that they've popped off. But they're actually bonded to the concrete, so... But the brick was cracking above, so they had started to move. As you can see, they're just dangling in mid-air. And sat here. Oh, there you go. So the window wasn't even touching, weren't even touching the window. Um, you, let's get the, uh, the seating out for the lintel now. As the soldiers now we just need our seating. So we um, catch them with it.
Right, there you go. Cavity tree's cut back. This is the lintel we're up against. Our lintel's going to sit on top of this course. I've took this brick out because it was joggled. So I'm going to get it clean, spin it around so the joggles on the back. So it's got a full brick seat in for the lintel. And this we're just going to put score marks in it and chip it off. I think we can bully it a bit, but I'm going to put these dust sheet and screw it into the top of the frame. Try and protect the frame because there's still dust getting down. Nothing big's got down, so there's no damage to it. Which is which has done its job. So I'm just going along here hoovering this off. This is just another little... Definitely going to do a video about power tools. So we never used to have the hoover. Which is obviously the battery. We've got the rattler, which I'm going to put, use to put the screws on top of here. We've got the saws off for cutting the mortar out. We had our little breaker for actually drilling the holes in the first place. This crack here is, is I've got a piece of slate in there wedged up tight, so that's that's put, put uh, wedged in tight. Um, so yes, next job is to get this cut back. I'm just um, sorry. Next job is to get the seating cut out. I'm working way along here, and then we can work out what we need. Got these little screws. Like I say, Alex chucks the rattle up. A couple of screws on the top of that. Job's a good one. Right, I've done most of this because the batteries are dead. So I took that back as far, hopefully, oh, far enough. Here's what we're going back from, that's what we're going to. Um, I'm going on with the grinder, about 15 20 mil deep, and then just following on with the breaker, take it, just knocking it back. Because this bit, this cavity that's not holding anything, it's just in the way. Obviously, it's doing its work under the wall there. This is just a chunk bridging the cavity, doing nothing. Just making things awkward for us. So, once that's all out of the way, we can start getting this lintel back in. But uh, I've still got this pocket to take out. Still got this pocket to take out for the lintel and the tray and everything. So, um, I've pulled all the wires off. I just need to get the saws all on that now. Uh, yeah. It's, uh, we're getting there. It's uh, Clive's on. So it must be getting for one o'clock now. Um, let's crack on. Bloody hell, two o'clock. I think I might just stay in for the soldiers today. As long as my straight edge is long enough. We're going to put the straight edge across and put the T-clamps in and do it that way. So they can't fall over. That's the plan. Um, we'll leave this as it is because we're going to be up here now. Which is good. And yeah. I'm going to have a quick dinner while Alex gets sorted out of here. There we go. So, we're about as set up as we can be for now. All the soldier brick need cutting down, we 
which I can't do until I've measured them. And the brick need loading up. So I've got quite a few of the uh, commons to go in and then all the cuts to do. But I need to get the lintel in and get that set up, put a line up and measure the actual soldier bricks then. And I'm going to put a very small bed on the, over the lintel so they're not, um, don't get a chance to sink over the lintel which they tend to do. And then hopefully the straight edge is long enough and we can whack that on with the T-clamps and then um, make it a lot easier putting the soldiers in. We're putting one less soldier in and opening the joints up, which should be a lot better. So there you go, we didn't need any new bricks, we got away with the one, even the one I smashed out with the hammer didn't break, it just, it's just a bit, it's a bit uh, got a bit of a hammer ash on it so that can't go back in. So we'll just open up and put the one less brick in. The lintel's cut back far enough, we check that. So now it's cut the lintel down to 20, 2130, so our uh, tray goes past. That's going to screw the upstand into there with it. Same down that end, into that corner. So um, that means we've got a nice measurement for our tray to cut now. I'll measure that and then we can get fettled. I'm going to have a, a late dinner and that's going to get me set up. After, uh, after losing the camera, <laughs> um, here's what's got the lintel in. I had to take it out to um, knock some more of that concrete back, but it's in. The tray's the tray's going to get fettled as Dad goes along with the soldier brick. But oh, nice. Um, oh yeah, yeah. So yeah, tray's up, up stands in. Like Dad said, first vents in. The window set that far back. We can't prop off the window like we normally do, so we're going to have to get the plank underneath it to prop it. And it's uh, it's, uh, it's half three. Haven't got a soldier yet. I need another full common pin, isn't it? Get, get digging. <laughs> Are they all buried? Oh, I thought they all up here. Jesus, I think it goes dark about seven o'clock tonight, so let's see how we go. On. I've just finished doing all the cuts. It's a 155 cut. 
that was hard as you can see it's only too close cut now the soldiers have reduced by 50 mil a bit more so I need to get these soldiers across now the tray's all installed it's also silicon dense so it's not going to fall anywhere the up stands in the first vents are in so I just need to start getting these in now work the gauge out to about 83 mil per course because they're only 70 mil brick so we're opening up slightly but it should help us so I need to work out my um, vents now see where to put them I'll have to put, put a mark somewhere so yeah we need to get this in as quick as we can because the time's crashing on it I don't want to look at the time but I know it's getting on for 5 o'clock and then uh, we haven't set a sold yet let's get into it I'm sat here pretending that I'm the one who's editing this, but I'm just here for uh, to tell you that is all we have for now because there is a lot more footage to uh, go through here. So you will have to wait for part two of our little job. We've not done that for a long time, have we? No. Nope. So thank you very much for watching part one. If you enjoyed, be if you enjoyed, be sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, you want to see more, hit subscribe and tap on that bell. That way you'll always know when we when we upload. That's a massive help and we appreciate the support. Any additional support which isn't necessary but a massive help for us. There's the super thanks under the video or there's the PayPal and Dad's description. Again, not necessary but it's a massive help for me and Dad and the channel. So thank you. This has been Reclaim with Steve and Alex in our in our pajamas. And we will uh, catch you for part two.